Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The Tuesday, May 14 spoilers for General Hospital indicate that Anna Devane updated Jason Morgan on her chat with Carly Spencer, who have in fact informed the FBI about Jack Brennan's probe. But Anna warned that they may take advantage of Carly's mistake because Brennan could contact his contacts and possibly tell them who is in charge of Pikeman. Anna also talked about how she intended to obtain additional information and her forthcoming rendezvous with Valentine Cassadine. Anna took off after Jason and Anna decided that Anna would not tell John Jagger Cates what they were doing. Danny Morgan arrived at the coffee warehouse with a request from Monica Quartermain after he was given a lift by Yuri. Since Monica couldn't attend the wedding due to her pneumonia, she asked Danny to ask Jason to go in her place. Jason couldn't resist Monica and Danny, so he agreed to drive Danny back to the Quartermain home after attending Brooke Lynn Quartermain and Harrison Chase's wedding. Valentine then received a call on Tuesday's GH episode from the terrified pharmacist who was tampering with Sonny Corinfo's medication. The pharmacist maintained that since Sonny's wife had approached and inquired excessively about the reduced dosage, the deal was off. Given that Sonny was single at the time, Valentin was dubious, so he encouraged the pharmacist to follow the plan while he recognized the stunning blonde who had questioned him. Valentine pretended to be talking to Nina Corinthos about Charlotte Cassidine when he noticed her close by and finally inquired as to whether or not she had made peace with Sonny. Nina made it plain that her marriage was gone and that Ava Jerome was all too willing to crawl her way into Sonny's life, but she wasn't sure where Valentine had heard that. Later, after Ava attempted to get an artist featured in crimson behind her back, Nena confronted Ava at the gallery. Nena cautioned Ava to go through her the next time, or she wouldn't be as generous, even though she wouldn't obstruct because she admired the artist. Nina made it plain that their friendship was ended after Ava had taken advantage of Sunny and tricked her, even though she was eager to work professionally with Ava. Nina formally introduced herself and made a reference to the time she noticed John wearing far less while Carly was around. John said that Nina was misinformed, but Nina showed little concern to correct it. Nina left after cautioning John to beware the gallery owner, since Ava might take him for everything. John then proceeded to question Ava about her ultimate plan about Sonny. John questioned whether Ava was trying to take over the mob, but Ava seemed insulted and preoccupied with co-parenting. Ava was forewarned by John she was being watched and was a subject of his inquiry. Ava became frightened as John listed off a list of places Ava had been, including the hospital pharmacy, to verify it. This made Ava angry. Gregory Chase was scared that an apology wouldn't be sufficient after using Hamilton Finn's previous treachery against him, but Alexis Davis offered him some guidance on how to talk it out and grow from his mistakes. Gregory showed Alexis a debate medal he received in the seventh grade while helping her get ready for her hearing to have her disbarment reversed. Gregory usually found good fortune with it, so he gave it to Alexis since she deserved some. After returning to Anna, she had supper with Valentine and spoke about the state of affairs at the PCPD. Valentine finally opened up to Anna about the idea of redemption, but he pretended that it was impossible to completely escape the past. Valentine asked Anna if she wanted to have a nightcap, but she said they should keep that for later and gave an optimism that they would go on another date at his house. Jordan Ashford came up with some brilliant ideas in Drew Kane's office to further his waterfront designs and obtain various forms of government assistance. After interrupting and speaking with Drew alone, Congressman McConkie brought up the fact that Drew had a criminal record. Although Drew claimed he wasn't attempting to conceal the SEC controversy, he was aware that if he led with it, McConkie would only be considering his prison sentence. In the end, McConkie made it clear that Drew's criminal record did not bar him from holding office in the House of Representatives. Given that McConkie was aware of his impending death from lung cancer, he desired a deserving candidate such as Drew to take his place. 
Given the prison sentence they discussed, Drew doubted he would receive the necessary votes, but McConkie believed that everyone enjoyed a good comeback tale. In addition, McConkie predicted that the rest of the party would follow suit if he supported Drew. McConkie said that Drew might want to consider changing his last name to Quartermain after pressing him to take a serious look at a future in politics. According to General Hospital spoilers, Drew will need to make some important decisions regarding his future. Therefore, stay tuned for further updates on his character's future. For Brooke Lynn, Tracy Quartermain owns a sentimental item. In addition, Jason Morgan takes against Damien Spinelli. Discover what will happen in the upcoming episode of the ABC soap opera by continuing to read. Spoilers for Wednesday, May 15's episode of Brooke Lynn Quartermain's Wedding Day GH indicate that Brooke Lynn experiences a sense of excitement and anticipation when she wakes up on her wedding day. Brooke Lynn exclaims to Lois Cerullo that she is getting married today. Hamilton Finn asks Chase whether he's ready for the big event as everyone gets ready. Chase declares in a firm voice that he has never been more prepared in his life as he stands in line at the altar. In style, G.H. Spoilers Was Jason's unexpected presence at the Quartermain wedding intended to shield Sonny and his family? Tracy is going to give Brooke Lynn a very special gift on Wednesday, May 15. Brooke Lynn receives something from Tracy that was once owned by Lila Quartermain. Naturally, Brooke Lynn will be overjoyed and appreciative of Tracy. Jocelyn will meet someone new on Wednesday, May 15, according to General Hospital spoilers. Jocelyn is going to meet Gio, Brooke Lynn's cousin. Gio is said to be a very skilled musician. Would there be a spark, and if so, what would Dex Heller think of Jocelyn perhaps moving on? Spoilers for General Hospital for Wednesday, May 15, 2024. Fans should also expect Jason to surprise everyone on Wednesday, May 15. In a preview video, Jason may also be seen approaching Spinelli. In style, Nancy Lee Gran, star of General Hospital, defends Haley Polos as a straight a student. Christina Corinthos Davis and Alison Rogers Ramirez, also known as Blaze, are shocked. Olivia Quartermain reminds Sonny Corinthos that everything must go perfectly during the wedding, sounding tense and demanding. Additionally, Curtis Ashford and Portia Robinson have a declaration to make. Uh-oh, am I in trouble? Ned Quartermain, Waddy Kurth, asks Tracy. Additionally, there is a suggestion that Gregory Chase may experience health problems while doing his wedding-related obligations. In addition, Finn's expression when trying the champagne is peculiar. Watch out for a wedding in Port Charles that will never be forgotten. There will also be a blood transfusion. What plot point on Wednesday, May 15, 2024 is most anticipated by you? For Brooke Lynn, Chase, Finn, Blaze and Christina, what predictions do you have? What lies ahead for Olivia, Sonny, Curtis, Portia and the rest of the Port Charles community? Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Recall to watch the ABC soap opera to see what happens next. Follow us on threads, join the discussion on our Facebook page, glance at our Twitter feed, search for updates on Instagram, follow us on Google News, or send us an email here to find out more about what's going on with your favorite soap operas and how to get in touch with us. I'll see you over there.